Welcome back uh, to exercise number three of problem set number four. Here we're taking a closer look at generators and generators makes it possible to construct all elements of a, present, a representation via taking the exponential. i is here the generator and it's defined like this on page 80 of the script and we restrict it to all s which yield the identity element. In part a of Exercise number three, we define a matrix A of T by taking the identity matrix and on the upper right corner we have the parameter T. We have to show that this is a group and yes it is. If you go into the details of matrix multiplication you can see that the sum of two matrices is still in the parameter space T of this representation and the identity element is defined as taking t equal to 0 because then you have the identity matrix and if you wanna see what the inverse is well you just take minus t okay now we wanna see what uh, what is the generator of this group well we just copy from over here this is one minus 1 over i d by dt of this matrix representation 1 t 0 1 and then you see this is nothing else than uh, a matrix with minus 1 over i in the upper right corner and when validating that this is indeed the generator of the group we have to take the exponential of this generator and when taking the exponential we have to tailor expand it and we have to compute powers of i. So the most important observation right here is that this matrix is nilpotent and we get a zero matrix for all powers greater than one. So this is very easy then to compute the exponential of minus i times the generator times the parameter t because this is nothing else than the identity matrix plus our generator times the parameter t and this is what you expect it to be namely t in the upper right corner and ones on the diagonal and a of t so this was fairly easy so we can go a little go to a little more difficult problem we take a different matrix we take t and 1 being on the diagonal and everything else being 0. By taking the matrix multiplication it's ev even easier than before because we have only only here we have a multiplication we have only diagonal elements uh, the identity element is the one where you take t equal to 1 and the inverse of b of t and here comes the interesting part when looking at that equation the inverse of b of t is 1 over t as the parameter so as a conclusion you can say that t is in the set of all real numbers but 0 because this is of course not defined for t equal to 0 now you can conclude that this group is disconnected it's disconnected because it's not possible to connect those elements b of t with t greater than the zero with those of where t are, is smaller than zero with a path lying in the parameter space or in other words you have here matrices with a determinant plus or minus one and they can't be connected so we have a disconnected group and therefore we have to be careful constructing the generators but we take a straightforward approach and see what happens so we take minus 1 over i d by dt of our matrix representation where t is equal to 1 because 1 yields the identity element so what is this well this is the matrix where 1 is on the upper uh, left corner and we have a prefactor and we call this j and again an important observation is that j to the n 
is always j. And to the zero, of course, you have the identity. So therefore, um, we can we can compute again the exponential. With uh, we take x because we have to modify this variable. We have to see that in uh, why why the reason for that we see in a moment. So we again we Taylor expand it, and then you have always j times your Taylor uh, Taylor series uh, exponential over here. So you have again j to the nth times x squared over 2 and so on and you recognize here an exponential function and here the identity matrix. So what do you have? You have the identity matrix plus an exponential function where the identity element is left out and every other element is 0. So you have e to the x in the upper left corner of this matrix and you have a 1 on the lower right corner. Now in order to obtain our b of t's we have to choose for t greater than 0 and t smaller than 0 different x's. So we choose for t greater than 0 x being equal to the logarithm of t and for t great, uh, smaller than 0 we have to multiply a minus 1. We have to extract a minus 1 and we get that by taking x being equal to i pi plus the logarithm of t. Here you can see again uh, the parameter space lies therefore in the complex plane and these are two lines which are separated by e to the i pi and they can't be connected so it's a disconnected group. Let's move on to part d of our exercise number three. In part d we uh, defined a group operation by a multiplication with a parameter t which is in the set of all real numbers but zero. So this is a Lie group, you can see that immediately by doing that transformation twice. So you have a times b times x with it, which is nothing else than c times x which is still in the parameter space. Associativity and the abelian property you can see immediately too. Okay, let's move on. To find the identity element, you set x prime to equal to be equal to x, and therefore t equals to one is the identity element. The inverse element you find by setting x double prime e being equal to x, and therefore you find that b has to be equal to a to the minus one, or one over a. This is the inverse. Now we, we are given a representation of this group operation, namely that the operator OT applied to a f of x yields f of x over t. Now we want to find the generator of this. And we find this generator by using the definition of page 80 of our script. This is by definition d by dt of tf of x evaluated at t being equal to 1 at the identity element. Here we insert our definition over here and then use the chain rule in order to obtain minus 1 over i minus x over t squared f prime of x over t evaluated at t equal to 1. Now we do that evaluation and we arrive at x over i d by dx f of x and we found our generator i. This is it. Of, be of course careful by doing that uh, calculation, that, that calculation of the generator by doing that t of t e to the minus i t times t. Be again careful with uh, choosing your t because here again we have a parameter space which is discontinuous, disconnected, I'm sorry, and uh, we have to again fill in here uh, something with a logarithm and, and so on. You know that calculation from part B of your exercise. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.